all right guys welcome back to another sweet video and in this one let's go ahead and start building our tower now what we can actually do is make sure that we have this exactly where we want it and I'm gonna go ahead and change the opacity to zero for this because I don't know it's just bothering me to have that light blue right there I'm also gonna take this meatball and move it down here because I don't know if we're gonna need it later on but once we have that taken care of we can actually scroll in and let's build a tower right by this tree right here so the first thing I want to do is you need um, different objects for vertical blocks and horizontal blocks so this can be our horizontal one we can make a bunch of instances of this now if you right click this and put clone object type and click anywhere to the right of it then what we can do is we can double click this and once it's double clicked we have this little editor hit one of these buttons and it rotates it 90 degrees and the reason that we needed to uh, make a new object type or clone it is because if we just copy this check this out and make a bunch of new instances and I'm doing that by holding control on my keyboard and dragging and then if we try to say okay I'm, I'll just make this one vertical and you rotate it they all rotate so hit control Z to undo that and that's why um, you have to clone it so basically we have two different styles of blocks that we can work with the vertical ones and also the horizontal ones and also it's probably a good idea right now to um, should we do this right now yeah I might as well so let's go ahead and add the physics to these blocks right now let me delete one of these so click it and add behaviors Add physics for that one up and down and also this one too and what I also want to do is I want to change the density of these blocks because right now whenever the, uh, we hit a meatball fling a meatball at them they're gonna be kinda hard to move so click one of them and change the density to 0.3 and on the other one as well you're gonna to have to experiment of course the higher the density um, the more solid or the more mass it's gonna have so basically when you have the density at like 0.1 they're gonna be like uh, really light and really easy to knock down so you know that's another thing you want to keep uh, track of you can also raise the density the higher the level you get that's another idea maybe so now let's just go ahead and start building this tower and we'll just build a really simple one at first so again hold control and drag right there and another thing that I want to mention is make sure that you do have a small gap between you see I have a small gap between those and the reason for that is because if you start your game and they're touching then your collision detection on these is going to be messed up so always make sure that whenever you're building a tower like this especially with physics objects to make sure that you have a small gap it's not going to affect anything and uh... so my tower is going to look something like this and whenever I run this game check it out let me just run this bad boy again you see the tower falls into place and I'll go ahead and shoot a meatball at it and it tumbles down pretty freaking sweet let me just do that one more time because it was kinda of fun right like that and now what I wanna do is I wanna say okay whenever my meatball comes to a complete stop that's when I wanna be able to reload the cannon so pretty much as soon as this meatball stops destroy the meatball and remember in the last tutorial we learned how to reload the cannon but for now um, that's pretty good for this tutorial I'm actually gonna build a little bit bigger tower because that was kinda easy so let me build a tower like this Let me see if this one's incredibly easy to knock down. Move that up. Oh, that's good. 
So run this bad boy and all right. So that tower is a little bit harder to knock down. We can get a couple shots. Pretty freaking sweet. And the reason that I had another meatball there to shoot is because that first one it rolled off the screen, and whenever it rolls off, it's destroyed. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys the logic of how to tell your game when this meatball comes to a complete stop to be able to, to reload your cannon and shoot it again. But for now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then.